Middle East AI News, March 31. Welcome to Middle East AI News. March 31, 2022. Here's a summary of some key Middle East technology stories from the week. As always, for more detail, more stories and lots of useful links, check out the full text version of Carrington Mallon's LinkedIn newsletter. Dubai's RTA shows off a cruise origin at the World Government Summit. Dubai moved another step towards its dream to provide the city's residents with driverless ride-hailing services this week, with the regional unveiling of the first cruise origin vehicle at the World Government Summit 2022. No surprise then, that Dubai Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, was keen to inspect the autonomous vehicle. The Crown Prince was the first to announce the Dubai Roads and Transport Authority deal with the General Motors driverless vehicle subsidiary, in April last year. This is the first time that the Origin AV has been exhibited in the Middle East, and Dubai will be the first city outside the US to operate the autonomous electric vehicle. RTA's goal is to make the first driverless taxi services available in Dubai by the end of 2023, ultimately building up a fleet of 4,000 self-driving taxis by 2030. The Origin is a driverless, zero-emissions, electric vehicle designed from the ground up to operate without a human driver, without human-centered features, such as a steering wheel foot pedals, or wing mirrors. Each vehicle is equipped with 80 sensors, cameras, and LiDAR systems, and will be able to comfortably accommodate four passengers. The RTA announced late last year that it had completed an extensive smart infrastructure study, paving the way for a detailed roadmap to support connected and self-driving vehicles, in a mixed road traffic scenario, that is, accommodating both autonomous and human drivers. The authority is currently developing digital maps for use with autonomous vehicles, and so, it seems likely that we'll see some AV trials in Dubai before the end of this year. The RTA is developing its strategic transportation plan to align with the Dubai 2040 Urban Master Plan, and aims to become the world leader in seamless and sustainable mobility. Dubai plans to make 25% of all mobility journeys in the city, driverless journeys by 2030. New Deal shows both Electromin, and Navia are moving fast. Earlier this week, Petromin Corporation's e-mobility subsidiary, Electromin, and autonomous system startup Navia Group, signed a sales distribution agreement for the distribution of Navia's driverless shuttles in Saudi Arabia. The agreement also includes the possibility of joint development of advanced custom autonomous mobility solutions in the kingdom. The Electromin deal comes barely three weeks after the French startup signed an MOU with Saudi's Ministry of Transport, to enable the implementation of autonomous vehicle solutions. Both agreements follow the operation of a long-term urban mobility trial at Neom, the futuristic urban mega-development in Tabuk province, using Navia's autonomous shuttle Evos. With no plans to allow traditional mechanized transport, Neom looks set to be the biggest buyer of autonomous road transport in the region. However, what makes Navia's latest deal so interesting is its choice of partner. Formed last year by lubricants and automotive services company Petromin, Electromin was founded to provide solutions, software, and consultancy for e-mobility. In particular, the new company is setting out to underpin the seamless transition to electric vehicle technology, or EV, across the kingdom. The country committed to a net zero target for 2060 in October last year. Electromin was officially launched in November. In the past few months, Electromin has signed deals with global energy and automation firm, Schneider Electric, which markets charging solutions for EVS, and with Australian manufacturer of advanced DC fast EV chargers, Tritium. However, the company clearly seeks to lead in more than simply charging and storage solutions. Electromin aims to become an all-round electric vehicle solutions provider, offering consultancy, through to infrastructure, network operation and maintenance, including a seamless charging experience for EV drivers. We now know that future plans include autonomous electric vehicles too. It's easy to spot why Navia might consider Electromin as a good potential partner. Its parent company, Petromin, is a significant Saudi manufacturer that also has interests in automotive sales and distribution, and was appointed as a strategic partner by Nissan in 2016. Meanwhile, as a company developing a nationwide network of EV chargers, Electromin is well-placed to develop a support services offering for future Navia customers. More than this, the Saudi company has an absolute focus on the future of urban mobility, and is moving quickly and purposefully ahead. Watch this space. These are the top stories for this week. Do scroll through the full Middle East AI news on LinkedIn to read more about these stories and other breaking emerging tech.